Hello friends. So in today's video, we are going to solving the second question of exercise 4.2. So in this question, it is says us and we have to find the four solution of each of the following equations. So my friends, in this question, we are given three options. That is the three different parts. They are not options actually. They are three different parts. And we have to write the four solutions for each of the following equations. So first of all, we need to figure out at what is the solution actually. A solution in an example that is in the case of linear equation of two variables a solution x comma y is said to be a solution if if we put the value of x and y respectively in terms of x variable and y variable so the solution the equation would be satisfied so by the given just an example for example if we are asked a solution to see whether 3x plus 5 equals to be 2y so this equation we want a solution so for example, in this particular case, 1 comma 4 is a solution or not. So if I put a 1 comma 4 like this, if it's asking us that if 1 comma 4 is a solution of or not of this equation. So basically the first two parentheses, the first number is the value of x and the second number is the value of y. So basically if the question is asking us, for example, that either 1 comma 4 is a solution or x equals 1 or y equals 4 a solution. To check whether it's a solution or not, we have to just put the value of x and y in the equation. So in this example, x is 1, so 3 into 1 plus 5 is equal to be 2 into y and y value is 4. So y is 4, 3 plus 5 is equal to be 8, 8 equals to be 8. In this example, we could see that left hand side and right hand side are equal, that is the equation is true. So for uh, any given value, set of values, that is x equals something, y equals something, such that when we put those values in the equation, in the respective values for x and y, and if the left hand side and right hand side are equal, like in this example of 3x plus 5 equals 2y, so that is said to be a solution. So in this case, x equals 1, y equals 4 is a solution. And a 1, 4 is the same thing to write into the same thing in a different manner. So 1, 4 is a solution. So similarly, in this case, we have to just find four such solutions. And so how are we going to find the solutions? We have to just set a value for x and y, we need to fix them. So my friends, as you know, in linear equations, two variables, there are infinite many solutions actually. So let me just rub the board. Okay, my friends, so let's solve the first part here. So the first part of the question is, 2x plus y equals 7. So we want four solutions. So it looks easy to check that it's a, something is solution or not. So how do we find solutions? For in equation 2 variable, there are infinite many solutions. So how do we find them? So the only way to find the solutions of a linear equation to a more variables, we need to fix the values by ourselves. So in an example, I'm going to be fixing the values of x. So if I let x is 0, I'm fixing the value basically. So if I put x as 0, so 2 into 0, this how the 0 has come, I have decided from myself. We have to decide one variable, at least one variable by our side only. There is no other way to find the solutions. So 0, I have decided from myself. You could decide any other number of your choice. So in this case, if I put x as 0, so we get 2 into 0 plus y is 7. Anything multiplied by 0 is 0, so we get y is 7. So in this case, x is 0 y is 7 is the first solution and if I put the value of x and y as 0, put this as 0 and this is 7, so you are going to get the equation left hand side will equal to be right hand side. So this is the first solution. Similarly, I could put x as 1. So this is the first solution I would say and for the second solution just put x as 1 and change the values of x or if you want to put the value of y first, so change the value of y, you are going to get automatically solutions. So for the second example, if I take x as 1 in this case, so we get 2 into 1 plus y equals 7. So we get 2 plus y is 7, y equals 7 minus 2 which is 5. So basically, x equals to be as 1 and y equals to be as 5 is another solution. If we just put the values of 1 and 5 in terms of x and y, you will get and we can find the equation to be satisfied. Similarly, we could put any values for x, we can keep continuing this process. So if I let x equals 2 for example, so we get 2 into 2 plus y equals 7. By the equation x is 2, as we have decided for it ourselves, we get 4 plus y equals 7, 
y would equal to be 7 minus 4 which is 3 uh, uh, 3 like this so the equation x equals to be 2 and y equals to be 3 would be another sets of solutions so basically what we are doing here my friends in this case to check whether a given solution is a solution or not put the value of x and y in the equation and if you have to find the solutions are own you have to select a variable one of more variables in this case only one variable and you have to just put your values by your own in this case i put a 0 1 2 for x value and you could put any other values for any other variable and you're going to get the other variable automatically so you need to solve this equation again and again this is the only method of finding the solutions for linear equation in two variables and similarly for the fourth question we could just simply find this i could simply put x as 3 also for fourth question x equals 3 this may let me hit up here so for, for the fourth equation that is x equals 3 you could put like this in this case if you were to solve this equation you are going to get x equals to be as x equals to be 3 and y equals to be as 1 so this also is a solution so basically you have to decide the values of a variable by your own most likely put simple values like 0 1 2 only so that it's going to speed up the calculations so similarly this is the only thing we have to do in this case and we are going to just do the first, same thing for the second and third part. So for the second and third part, I am going to be doing it a little quickly. But basically that is how we solve the question. We need to just set some values of our own of any variable of our choice. So my friends, so let's solve the second part. So my friend, for the second part, even though pi is irrational number, it is nothing to be feared actually, because this is same as same thing only. So just set this just set the solutions. For example, I'm going to make a table for a convenience. So let x uh, I'm going to decide the value of x 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, I'm going to getting the values of y. So basically, let's put the x as 0. So pi into pi into 0 plus y equals 9 will give value as y as 9 because anything multiplied by 0 is any, uh, 0 only so y would be 9 first thing second thing if i put as x is 1 so pi into 1 plus y equals 9 pi plus y is 9 and y is equal to be 9 minus pi even though we cannot solve it simply it if you give this as the answer it is correct only even though we cannot solve this value and my friends, be, be careful. Do not uh, try to find the approximate value for pi. You can just leave the answer as it is only because it is more than efficient. And please do not take the pi as 24 2 by 7. Please do not do this because it's not the exact value. It is the approximate value. And do not try to take the approximation because that answer would not be 100% correct. It would be just an approximation only. So you can just leave the answer like this only. So if I put as y uh, x is 2 in the same process, if I take so we get pi into 2 plus y as 9 we get as y is equals to be as 9 minus 2 pi so we get 9 minus 2 pi here and for the finally if I put x as 3 so pi 3 plus y equals to be as 9 y is equals to be 9 minus 3 pi like this so basically friends what we are actually are doing just set a pick a variable select some uh, values by your own and solve the equations similarly by again and again you have to solve each equation individually simple and my friends the last part is just very easy here and i'm going to just do it in brief because in this case again you could put the values of x as uh, 0 1 2 3 only so basically just do it for some time okay my friends so for the third part of this equation that is here x uh, x equals 4 pi so the third part x equals to be as 4 pi now uh, 4 y sorry so again we're going to draw the table x is y table is not necessary to draw it is just a, a way of writing the values in in a neat form so again put some uh, predetermined values of your own of your choice i would suggest to keep uh, uh, these simple values also if you want you could keep 0 1 minus 1 minus 2 also sometimes minus values are easy to calculate but in examination to make sure to put the values which are easy to solve so again i'm going to put these values only this is a very easy one because here we are just uh, multiplying the number here. So I not multiply, dividing the number by 4. So if I do, if it is x equals 4y, I am going to just solve it a little bit. And we get x by 4, uh, sorry, we get x by 4 is y. 
So if I divide both sides by 4, I get this value x by 4 is y. So in this case, in this case, I would just like to change my values here. So instead of these values, let's put these values instead. So we have 0, 4, 8, 12. So simply my friends, I just rewrite this equation in this form. It is the same thing. And now I determine the values as 0, 4, 8, 12. So just put the values. For first part, 0 by 4 equals y. So y is 0. This will give y 0 simply. So we will arrive with the 0. For the second part, we have x is 4, so 4 by 4 is y, so we get y as 1, like this, so y would be 1. For the third part, we have x is 8, so 8 by 4 is y, by this equation only, so we get y is 2. And finally, for the last solution, x is 12, so 12 by 4 is y, y is 3, so we get 2 and 3. 0, 0, 4, 1, 8, 2, 12, 3 will be the solutions. And my friends, so this is the solve solution of the second part. There could be any much more different type of answers. There is no simple answer of this. You could put any values for y. The reason I changed 0, 1, 2, 3 to 0, 4, 8, 12, because if I put as a, a x value 0, or 1, 2, 3, so I am getting y in the fraction, so which I don't want. That's why I later changed the value of x, which I will decide. So my friends, this is the solution of this question.